guys welcome to one can multimedia that's right here as milk formula at my name asika and as always we bring the latest in the world of entertainment social issues trending issues and what everything else in between now you know that the u.s is having their elections yes the united states of america and the whole world is watching i've got all the briefs and the updates for you so stick with me here right here and let's get it rolling So the 2024 U.S. presidential race is going on and Donald Trump and Vice President Kamala Harris are going head to head. So the latest polls show a tight race with Trump leading in some battleground states like Pennsylvania, Ohio and North Carolina, while Harris is also ahead in others like Virginia, Michigan, and also Wisconsin. So when you go to all these states, you realize that Harris is leading in these uh, states as well. Now let's look at some of the key battleground states. Now we have Pennsylvania where Trump is leading. There's Ohio. He leads uh, by 7 to 12%. North Carolina, Trump is leading by 1 to 2%. Virginia, Harris is also leading there by five percent and when you go to michigan harris leads by two percent there as well and for wisconsin trump leads by one percent now this particular uh one is quite crucial so as you see on the screen the electoral map uh is there and it's quite crucial with 270 electoral votes uh, needed to win but you know currently the consensus electoral uh, map shows a split uh, with neither candidate having a clear majority, even though it looks like uh, Trump is in the lead. So for now, you can all just say that it looks like Trump has won the election. Meanwhile, he has been in Florida uh, giving victory speeches. So let's have a look at that. And I said that many people have told me that God spared my life for a reason. And that reason was to save our country and to restore America to greatness. And now we are going to fulfill that mission together. We're going to fulfill that mission. The task before us will not be easy, but I will bring every ounce of energy, spirit, and fight that I have in my soul to the job that you've entrusted to me. This is a great job. There's no job like this. This is the most important job in the world. Just as I did in my first term, we had a great first term, a great, great first term. I will govern by a simple motto, promises made, promises kept. We're gonna keep our promises. Nothing will stop me from keeping my word to you, the people. We will make America safe, strong, prosperous, powerful, and free again. And I'm asking every citizen all across our land to join me in this noble and righteous endeavor. That's what it is. It's time to put the divisions of the past four years behind us. It's time to unite. And we're going to try. We're going to try. We have to try. And it's going to happen. Success will bring us together. I've seen that. I've seen that. I saw that in the first term when we became more and more successful. People started coming together. Success is going to bring us together. And we are going to start by all putting America first. We have to put our country first for at least a period of time. We have to fix it. Because together we can truly make America great again for all Americans. So I want to just tell you what a great honor this is. I want to thank you. I will not let you down. America's future will be bigger, better, bolder, richer safer and stronger than it has ever been before. God bless you and God bless America. Thank you very much. Thank you. So boy, I don't know what else anybody is going to tell him. Whether, um, whatever the numbers are going to come, whatever it is going to be, where, however it is going to turn out, the man has already declared a victory. Now, let's look at some numbers, some statistics as well. When you look at the national early voting, uh, there's been a huge number 
of people who went in to cast their votes uh, early and also there is the mail-in and early in-person votes also uh, there as well. With all the presidential races, you know, with the 50 states in the U.S. Uh, is on your screen, how the people or the citizen also voted uh, right. And there's also the seven uncalled races. Uh, that's the seven states uh, that is worth 53 electoral votes and they have not been called. And Harris needs 51 more electoral votes if uh she is she is to win that's what she would need while uh trump would also need just four so just imagine i think i understand the reason why all trump supporters and also supporters and uh, fans of the republican party are all rejoicing and of course trump also giving the victory speeches uh as well when you go on social media the likes of Elon Musk, Candace Owens, as a Joe Reagan, they are all being celebrated. I mean, you see them in the trends before talking about them all because, I mean, they all played crucial role in the campaign of the Republicans, of course, uh, for Trump as well, especially Elon Musk, because we all know how long Elon has been a supporter of Trump and it looks like he's, oh, he's like the number one a donor to his campaign and of course as he was in florida as donald trump was in florida elon musk was also there with him and i mean we've all seen how the whole thing has been turning out on social media so i guess we can all say congratulations going out to uh, donald trump i think his story regardless of whatever it is that you think of him or the things that he may have done and the things that he may have said uh, he has actually shown the perseverance that when you try to get something and you are not getting it, just keep working harder and harder. And who knows, you might get there. It doesn't work in all cases. <laughs> so uh, just try. I mean, if you are really doing a good thing and you put your mind to it, I'm, I'm sure you can get it done. So congrats going out to the almost president-elect of the uh, United States of America. He would be the 47th, right? Yeah, the 47th president. He was the 45th president of the United States of America. Now he's going to be the 47th. So his name is going to go down in the history books of the states as a president that came, uh, won, tried to come again, he lost, and then he came, he went back, back to the drawing board, did his homework, some patches here and there and then he made it again so that's the latest i've got for you guys thank you so much make sure that you drop your comments in the box below and also subscribe to the channel click on the notification bell anytime we make a post you would be the first to watch and also have a say to read my name is Sika. This has been no formula and as always i'm out